Okay, so in my last video, I used an Arduino board to make an LED blink using different sequences. Uh, here I'm going to use a 555 timer chip to blink a single LED in a one second pattern. Um, so the, the advantage of using the Arduino is it's a little bit uh, more simple to control and adjust settings make it blink faster, do different blinking sequences because it's all just in your code. You modify the code and the LED does, does what you want it to do. In this one it's all being controlled by the resistors and capacitors so you have to switch out the resistors or the capacitors depending on the, the sequence or both depending on the sequence that, that you want it to blink in. Um, the advantage of this one however is the, the amount of hardware. The, the amount of parts we're using here, you can see them over here, that's all we're using. You can see the Arduino board here is about almost the size of, of the breadboard, uh, whereas all these other components here take up a lot less space and weight than the Arduino board would. So um, let's go ahead and get started. We'll start with the 555 chip right here, this guy. Let's go ahead and zoom in and take a look. So basically, the way you want to orient this when you put it into the breadboard is you'll see a little circle. Let's see if we, yeah, there. See the little darker circle? That's going to be the top left. So that top left pin is going to be your pin number one. You want to put that in across the break here, the middle of the breadboard, and have that little pin in the top left corner. Um, Okay, so now that that's in, we can see our pin number one is here. I'll use this as a pointer. This is going to be pin one, two, three, four. And then down here we have five, six, seven, eight. So it's kind of like a U. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to use all of these little parts here and we're going to connect them together to make this LED blink. The capacitor and resistor combination that I've selected is going to make the, the LED blink about every second or so. Um, and there's actually a really good online calculator. You can just type in how long you want the uh, intervals to be and it will calculate and tell you what uh, resistor you need, what capacitor you, you need, and give you a schematic of how to build this. So basically we'll just start with pin one and go through what we need to do. So pin one is going to be our ground pin and it connects to the negative. So we'll go ahead and say that this side over here is going to be our negative output. So we'll actually go ahead and take this larger cable here. Let's see. This larger cable and we'll plug it in there and that will connect our negative from our power source here as soon as we're finished. So that's going to be our negative output and pin 1 connects to the negative and that is it. Let's get focused, okay. Next we'll go to pin 2 um, and pin 2 connects directly to 6. So if we go here we take pin 2, so we'll plug this here into pin 2. Actually, let's go in the second one. And then we have 4, 5, 6. So we have pin 6 right there. So pin 2 will connect directly to pin 6. Our resistor that's going to connect from pin 2 to pin 7 is going to be 4.7 thousand ohms. Uh, this is based off of the calculator uh, link that I'll put in the description telling me uh, how many ohms I need my two resistors and my capacitor to be to get the bleaking sequence that I want. So my resistor here is going to go from 2 to 7. So I'll go ahead and plug it in. 2 to 7. There we go. And then we'll go ahead and grab our capacitor this is a 100 microfarad capacitor and we're going to plug it in from the same port here, number two, 
and we're going to go to ground. So we'll take it over here to the negative. So we have our capacitor going from two to the ground. Uh, next, we'll go ahead and grab our LED and we'll do the same thing with the LED except from pin three. We want to go from pin, pin three to the negative ground here. And we'll ground that LED. Perfect. So that's pins one, two, and three. Now four is going to be a input. So we're going to take this pin four and we'll take him over to our positive so he gets voltage in. Uh, and then let's do pin five. We have a 0 0.01 microfarad capacitor. Now this 0 0.01 microfarad capacitor is going to always be in um, the little circuit here. Um, so the calculator won't tell you you need that, but if you look at the schematic, you'll see that you need a 0 0.01 Farad capacitor going from pin 5 to ground. So we'll plug this guy in here to pin 5 and we'll stretch him way over here. There we go. He can stretch. Stretch him way over there to ground. Um, and then pin 6. The only thing we did with pin 6 earlier was we connected it directly to 2. So we just have a direct connection between 6 and 2. Pin 7 we're going to take our other resistor, which in this case is R1 of 5.1 thousand ohms, and we're going to connect it directly from pin 7 to the positive. So we have 5, 6, 7, and we're going to connect it to our input here. Perfect. And finally, 8, we're going to connect pin 8 to input as well. And then we'll put a wire here to connect to our um, power source. So basically, that's what you have there. We have our two wires for input and output. This is positive, and this will be negative and you have this guy here. So I'm going to go ahead and hook up our positive and negative wires here. So I'll clip this guy and this guy. They're hooked up there. And I'll go ahead and make sure this is dialed all the way down. Turn it on. Give it a little current and then up the voltage. I'm at 3 volts, 4 volts, and we're getting brighter, 5 volts, and we're blinking. Um, so that's about a basic one second interval um, between the beginning of each blink for our LED here. You can use different combinations of capacitors and resistors to get different blinking sequences.